I'm an addict for snitches. What's good? What's good? Back up in the building. It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at the Sneak Erratic Show. Taking a look at the upcoming KD Elite 6 from the Gold Pack. Let's get right into this review and we'll be right back. Alright, so let's get to this review on the KD6 Elite from the Gold Pack. Definitely, definitely a pretty nice colorway. I think it is definitely something for the season with this white upper. Then you got your hits of gold, which really pops nice, along with this bright crimson color right here. I'm pretty sure it's crimson. And the upper on these elites, you have this fuse. It's got layers on it. You've got a layer of this like synthetic kind of netting, and then you have your fly wire underneath, but then over a layer of synthetic fuse. So there's some layers on this shoe right here, and it gives a nice effect off with these kind of designs. As you can see, these lines, these black lines throughout the shoe. And then as you can see over there, you got more crimson going like right there. And this golden KD pops really nice in the gold. You got a 360 air unit on these verse on the regular standard models like these right here. You have your air unit in the back and then you've got your zoom in the front. These you got a 360 air unit, which I'm a fan of. Love that and I think it looks really nice too. Just in general, the whole look looks sick. There's a look at the back of the shoe. You got your black bolt. Then you got your gold swoosh right there. We'll take a look at the toe. You got his signature right there. Got a big gold swoosh right there, as you can see. And taking a look at the dynamic fly wire, latching onto these black laces, moving on up to an oversized logo right there. Reverse over here, as you can see. Inside the old model, you have his signature on the new Elite model. That's what you got right there. The Nike Basketball Elite Series logo. And the bottom of these have a translucent sole, as you can see right there. Check it out. Compare real quick to the old model. Check it out. As you can see. And there you go with a close-up detailed look at the KD Elite 6 in the gold pack colorway. Let me know your thoughts on these. Also, also, I did review the LeBron from this pack. If you want to see the review, look in the description box below. But right now, it's all about these right here. And I'm about to show you what they look like on feet, and we'll be right back. Right, so here we go with a look on feet. Let me know what you think of these right here. As far as the fitting, I would say go up half a size. Or if you like your shoes to fit really on point, like exactly to your feet, then go true to size. If you like a little room, go up half a size. And as far as the comfort, they feel real comfortable. I can't really say if they feel more comfortable than the six. Um, you know what, maybe I'll do this real quick. Let me try. You know what, we'll do like a pick one also while we at it. Let's see. So as far as feeling, you know, both versions on feet, this one feels higher up than this one. This feels definitely more lower because I feel like off balanced right now. Um, comfortability wise, I really can't say which one's more comfortable, but you know, while we're here, might as well do like a quick pick one. Let me know which model you like better as far as the actual model, not the colorway. Do you like the standard six model or do you like the elite model better? Leave your comment in the box. We'll get up close. Do you like the elite model or do you like the standard regular six model? Which one you like better? Leave your comments in the box and don't forget, it doesn't matter what he likes or she likes, it's all about what you like. So leave your comments and don't be too cool for school. And make sure to hit that like button if you're loving the show. Show that love and motivates me to keep shooting more and more episodes here at the Sneaker Radic Show. And make sure to tell your friends about the show. Spread the word. Tell people to check out the show. By you doing that helps out the show. I want this to keep growing and growing. And I want my audience to just keep getting bigger and bigger. And without you guys, it's not happening so you know it definitely is very motivational when I notice that more and more people are watching so 
Spread the word. If you know someone that would like the show that doesn't watch, let them know about the Sneaker Rider show, and I really will appreciate that. You don't know how much I'll appreciate that, because I want to just keep doing this, and I want this show to keep growing and growing. And shout out to everyone that does that already. I appreciate you all, and I pay attention. People that always share the video on Facebook and on Twitter and Google+, Plus. I always pay attention to that, and I appreciate that. And leave your comments, of course. Let me know which one you like better. This just converted from a review to a pick one. <laughs> and with that said, let me hit you with that infamous bird's eye view. View, 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 view. I know you see these over here chilling. <laughs> All right, so there you go. You got your detailed look. Let me know what you think of these. Leave your comments in the box. Make sure to hit the like button if you're loving the show. Catch up on all the reviews. I did review the LeBron from the Gold Pack, and I did also review the Penny Posit also. So if you want to see these detailed reviews, look in the description box below. Catch up on all the reviews. Follow all my social networks. Download my music too. It's free. Look in the description box below. Shout out to everyone that shows love to your boy Dells. Also, make sure to go to the blog, thesneakeratic.com, morning, noon, and night like clockwork. Friday, Saturday morning, go there, 7.55 a.m. right before release time, Eastern Standard Time, 7.55 a.m., and I'll try to help you again, your kicks for retail. And with that said, I'll be back really, really soon. All right, so let's get into this review. I did do a quick video yesterday. Unfortunately, the sound wasn't working. That's why I did just a quick video with some music playing in the background that I that's actually my music too. If you want to download it, there'll be a link in the description box below. You get it for free. I'm not trying to make money off my music, just doing it for fun. But I just wanted to put something out there quick because word was getting around that this shoe has, you know, a different upper and it was pretty exciting for a lot of heads that are into sneakers. So I wanted to just put that video out real quick being that when I was filming, for some reason, my sound wasn't recording along with the video, which really was whack. So we're here refilming now and let's get right into it. The upper has this kind of ostrich leather. It feels really nice. It's a nice material right here. I don't know if it's actual ostrich. I'm assuming it's not. It's assuming it's some kind of fake synthetic leather because the price is still the same. The price is 130. I would assume if they were using real ostrich leather and not your typical synthetic upper that they use on a KD6 that they would have upcharged this shoe. But the material is very nice. It feels like leather. Who knows, maybe it is leather. You've got your KD over here that's trimmed in green. You have this speckle-like design inside. And as you can see, it's got a lot of different colors, mostly black and gray and white. But it also has little hits of other colors like blue, and a little bit of orange also. Air unit in the back as usual with your orange hit inside. And you have your zoom in the front. You got your hit of green right there. Flywire technology up top. And this material really is something else up top. It's definitely something different. If you're a fan of this KD shoe and you like this colorway, I think this is a must. If you own a lot of KDs, if you consider yourself a KD collector even, I think this is a must cop. Just because of the upper. And the construction of the shoe is very nice. As you can see even over here, you can see how it looks over there. It really has a different material, and that's where you can really see it really nice. Up top over here, where the fly wire goes. There's a look at the swoosh. You can see all the different multicolors. A lot more now on this big swoosh by the toe. I'm trying to get a nice shot of the toe, so you can actually see. There you go. As you can see, you got this ostrich kind of look on the actual shoe, as you can see which is definitely something different. I mean, I would have never thought of them doing something like this, and that's pretty awesome. That's when you gotta give it up to a brand, when they do something out of the box that you wouldn't expect. I did not expect something like this, putting some sort of like ostrich material on the upper, really nice. There's photos that just leaked of a fragment collaboration with the KD6 and it actually has like a blue suede on it and it looks really sick. They didn't switch up the model at all. It's just like this, it's just got a nice upper. Nice materials, really can appreciate that and I definitely appreciate this as you can see. It's really, really nice. 
And then moving on up, you've got your multicolored laces, your black mesh underneath, you've got your hit of orange, and then you've got your logo right there. And you got this design on the tongue up top that kind of reminds me of the upper on the Dornbecker Jordan 10. I'll show you more on the other side of the shoe. They have a lot of this kind of look that you have on the tongue. This, this like black on black camel. Inside, you've got his signature right there. On the back of the shoe, as you can see, you've got this ostrich material and then your bolt, which usually converts to another material. And this time, you've got a typical synthetic material on this side of the shoe, but it's got, as I was saying on the tongue, it's got this kind of like black on black kind of camo look. And it reminds me a lot of the look on the Dornbecker Jordan 10. It really reminds me a lot of that. You got your swoosh right there. And then last but not least, there's a look at the outsole. I wish that they did something over here with this hologram. They kind of just stopped, you know, incorporating anything as far as with a concept on the hologram here. They used to do that and then they just stopped. I wish that they kept it going, but they're not messing around with that no more. And there you go with a close-up detailed review. Let me show you them on feet now and we'll be right back. As far as the fit of the KD6, I would say go true to size. If you have a narrow foot, go up half the size. Make sure to share this video, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Make sure to hit the like button right now. If you love the show, it really motivates me to keep shooting more episodes when I notice people are hitting that like button, leaving them comments, showing that love and support. As far as the feel of the shoe, now that it has a different upper, it feels the same, really. There's no difference as far as the feel of the shoe. And the comfort of the KD6, I think they're very comfortable shoes. A lot of people complain, though, that it does crease easy after time. I'm curious how these are gonna crease, being that it has a different kind of upper. Let's get up closer, you can see the actual material on feet. With that said, gotta hit you with that infamous burp, 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 bur